folks, we have with us today the Shadow Guide backpack from Tom Ben. The Shadow Guide is based on the design of the Guides Pack. What Tom Ben did in designing the Shadow Guide is they took the Guides Pack and they streamlined it. So gone are the attachment points at the top, on the sides, and at the bottom for attaching accessories. Also gone is the ice axe loop that was at the bottom. And uh, it's been replaced, by the way, uh, at that location you have a place for attaching a guardian light. Uh, the other difference is that gone are the coyote accents. So the shadow guide is pretty much black in its entirety. The guides pack is made from a 420 denier uh, Fairback fabric, whereas the shadow guide is made from a 525 denier ballistic nylon. The reason I say pretty much black, pretty much all black, uh, including on the back, by the way, so the aerospacer mesh is black and the backpack straps are, are black. What isn't black, as you can see on the front for my configuration, are the uh, web enclosures uh, and the, the cord pull that you'll see as we go inside uh, that closes the main compartment of the shadow guide. It comes with the red uh, and also the black. And as you can see, I have the red installed. So a couple of other accessories that come with the uh, shadow guide that I don't have on there. It comes with a sternum strap uh, that I've set aside for right now. It comes with a, a one inch webbing waist strap. And it comes with, as I mentioned, the black uh, uh, webbing closures. It also comes with uh, both the black and the red cord for uh, the main compartment. Uh, and it comes with uh, black and red cord pulls for the zippers. Uh, I've chosen to, to not put those on there, at least for right now. So a, a quick uh, overview of the outside of the items we haven't already covered. Uh, there's a webbing loop, uh, a webbing handle at the top for, for grabbing the shadow guide, uh, if you want to do that. Um, down here, there are attachment points, not just for the one inch webbing waist strap uh, that comes with the shadow guide, but you can also get a, a padded uh, waist strap, and that's what the second attachment point is on, on either side, and those attach via gatekeeper clips. So uh, back, as we mentioned, is aerospace or mesh. Let's go inside. So I have in here pretty much what I carried uh, for a, a trip earlier this week, but I added a couple of things to show you uh, what you might carry going to the gym as well as to work or school or wherever you're going. So I'll show you what I packed inside. We uh, open the uh, webbing loops to get inside. Now, when we go inside, uh, you'll see that there are for the top flap, uh, which has a pocket uh, that is accessible. This, this pocket is accessible even when the top compartment is strapped down. Uh, but then there's two more mesh pockets that are here that are accessible once you open it up. So let me show you what I have in this compartment. Uh, this compartment up here um, in the back flap closure has a, a, a rain cover essentially uh, over it. So let's go inside. And I have here attached to an O-ring. There's an O-ring here, and then there's uh, one on the other side as well. So attached to it via a key strap, I have <laughs> a bit of coyote. So uh, my board markers are in this. And then this, this is my son's that I, I've been using, but uh, this is a uh, small organizer pouch that has um, my charging cables and whatnot. And then in this mesh pocket, I have a super mini ghost oil pouch that has my USB keys. And then um, I keep some mints in here. And then in the lower pocket, I have my NYX minimalist wallet that contains the things I don't use on a daily basis, uh, but I have just in case I need them. My NYX main, my main wallet could you know, go in there as well but uh, I usually have that in my pocket or uh, sometimes I'm carrying the travel cube lid and I'll keep it in there along with my phone. So the main compartment, let me lift this up 
uh, is accessed through this drawstring. Um, this is a really nice quick closure, right? Pull it, opens up, and you can access the inside. And when you're ready to go, you just you know pull it tight and it closes up. Super simple. Uh, by the way, while we're here, let me show you. There's a, a webbing handle on the inside as well. So um, if your uh, shadow guide is sitting open and you want to grab it, which mine is a lot of times, you have this webbing handle by which to grab it. So again, going inside, um, the design of the shadow guide is you know the the compartment is right at the top, right? So it's designed for, uh, essentially, you have to remove the things that are on top to get at the things that are at the bottom if things are stacked in there. If they're vertically placed, then you know you can get it, whatever, but just keep that in mind when you're packing the shadow guide and thinking about what do I want to access more frequently and I need to place on top, whereas what can go on the bottom. So let me show you what's inside the main compartment. I have my gym clothes uh, in a packing cube. In another packing cube, uh, these are the Aether packing cubes, by the way, um, I have uh, my shoes. So I didn't actually travel with these two items uh, when I went the other day, but I wanted to show you what the shadow guide can hold if you're carrying like gym stuff on a daily basis. Um, you, you can put that in there. I have, where'd it go? Um, I have a water bottle. I have, I usually keep this in here. Um, it's a speakerphone. Um, sometimes you go into conference rooms that have, you know, not the best speakerphone. So I usually keep one with me, which makes life a lot easier. I carry my Synux 19 uh, Freudian slip in here as well, just because it's a great way of keeping things organized. So just a, a quick overview, uh, power adapter for my laptop a uh, remote control and the USB-C dongle, uh, I use a MacBook. And then um, I, I could put a pen in here, there should have been a pen in here, I'm not sure where it is, uh, but lip balm um, and then my colored pens just because I'm, you know, I like to color different, write in different colors sometimes. And then my uh, USB battery, uh, which is handy if you're doing, you know, a long trip and, and using uh, GPS especially. On the other side, I have a notebook, and then I have a couple of uh, mini padded organizer pouches that keep my earphones and then accessories for earphones uh, just in case, like a uh, 3.5mm to quarter inch adapter and a uh, little attachment for volume control just in case. And uh, I still keep an airline adapter in there, although I haven't had to use one in a long time. And then I have in here a book that I'm reading. So that's my Synapse 19 uh, Freudian slip. <clears throat> and then attached, this is the other difference. Um, I, I hope the camera is picking this up. But this is the other difference between the Shadow Guide and the Guides Pack is their attachment points for uh, the gatekeeper clips that keep your uh, laptop in place. Uh, using the, the webbing that's uh, on the back. I have an old school cache here, but the new ones have, you know, the zippers. And then in the main compartment on either side are also a, a couple of O-rings. Um, I'm not going to be able to show it really well in here, but um, also visible here, uh, a portion of it you can see, is uh, the what really adds to the comfort, I think, of uh, the Shadow Guide and other bags. The uh, Hero's Journey, there's one for the uh, Aeronauts now, there's one for the Synapse backpacks, but this uh, internal frame really helps to keep the bag comfortable. Uh, like I said, I used it for a trip earlier this week. Uh, I was traveling by Amtrak, I was uh, walking around New York City and the bag was just, you know, even though I had a little bit of load in there, it was just super comfortable. Anyway, that is the Shadow Guide backpack. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.